I love the joke. Wouldn't it be nice if we could put ourselves in the dryer and come out three sizes smaller and wrinkle free? While it's funny, many of us struggle deeply with our health, fitness, and body image. But guess what? We don't have to. God cares about every detail of our lives, and He is always the answer. Tune into the Strong Confident His podcast on your favorite platform or on lifeaudio.com to get biblical answers that will create results and give you peace. The Historical Jesus Podcast is the sweeping saga of the life and times of Galilean Jesus of Nazareth, as well as the faith, religion, and church founded to honor and disseminate his acts and teachings. Join me, Mark Vinette, on this fascinating journey through time, exploring the many great works of Christian theology, literature, architecture, music, and art inspired by the words and deeds of Jesus Christ. Life Audio Hey friends, welcome to the Hearing Jesus for Kids podcast. Do you ever feel like you want to know more about the Bible, but that it's kind of hard to understand? Do you want to share your faith with your friends, but have a hard time figuring out how to do that? Do you want to learn how to connect the Bible to your real life? Well, then this is the show for you. My name is Rachel, and I'm your host. I've been a children's pastor for a long time, and one of my favorite things is helping kids learn how to understand the Bible. I think that sometimes people think that the Bible is just for adults, but God actually really wants kids to know about Him. So on this podcast, we're going to learn all about God's big story and how He shows Himself to us through the Bible. As we learn together what the Bible stories actually mean, we can learn how to live out our faith in our everyday life. Hey friends, welcome to the Hearing Jesus for Kids podcast. I'm your host, Rachel. I want you to think for a minute about the best gift you ever received. For me, I was probably about your age when I got a scooter one year for Christmas. I love that scooter. I used it so long that my dad had to keep changing where the handlebars were. And eventually I just got too tall for it. But it was pink. It had sparkles on it. It was my favorite. I used it forever. You might have a toy like that or something that's really special to you. And most of us have been given some good gifts from our parents and our friends. But did you know that God gives us gifts as well? God's gifts come to us in the form of blessings. He has blessed us with things like feeling healthy or giving us good friends or, of course, our families. He's also blessed our parents with jobs so they can provide everything we need, the food that we eat, the houses we live in, the car that you may even be driving in right now. But the greatest blessing that God has given us is his son, Jesus, and this gift of salvation, which is this gift of spending forever with him in heaven. And he gave us this gift when he allowed Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. We should have had to die for our sins, but instead, God used Jesus to make a way for us to live in heaven forever with him instead. We're going to read a couple Bible verses from Matthew chapter 7 to learn more about how God blesses us and how we can be closer to him. It says, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks, it will be opened. Or what person is there among you when his son asks for a loaf of bread will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, he will not give him a snake, will he? So if you, despite being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? In everything, therefore, treat people the same way you want them to treat you, for this is the law and the prophets. So one of the things that this passage teaches us is that if we want to find God in our lives and be closer to him, all we have to do is to seek him out. Seeking for God is kind of like playing hide and go seek. We look for God in the places that we think he will be. We can seek for God at church or through reading the Bible or even through prayer.
If there's something that we need in our lives, we can ask God for it. And this verse is telling us that if we ask in the name of Jesus, God will answer us. Now, that answer might not come right away, or it might not even be the answer that we had hoped for, but we know that God will hear us and answer us according to his plan for our life. We are just humans, but we know how to give good gifts to each other. If your sister is having a bad day, you may know what will cheer her up. On Father's Day, you may give your dad something to show that you love him. If we can do this and we are just humans, then we have to believe that God will give good things to us as well because he's perfect and he's a good father. And we're also reminded that God wants us to be like him. We should treat other people how we want to be treated. If we want others to treat us good, then we need to treat others good. That's what God wants us to do because it helps others to see his love for them. Maybe to remember this, it would be helpful for you to play hide and seek today. As you are playing, if it's hard for you to find the person you're playing with, I want you to remember that it's never hard to find God because he's always there for us. Or maybe you want to practice this idea of giving gifts. You could draw a picture and give it to a friend or someone in your family. You can write a note to them about how God loves them. And we can all practice what it means to treat other people the way that we want to be treated. You know, sometimes we can get frustrated or angry with other people. And in those moments, we can pray and ask God to help us treat them the way we would want to be treated. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for my friends that want to know about you and to know more about your word. Lord, I pray that you would help them find you, and that they would seek you in all things. Lord, I pray for protection for them today, for protection for their minds, their bodies, and their hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, friends, we'll talk tomorrow. Hey, friends, thanks for listening to the Hearing Jesus for Kids podcast. If you like today's show, I would love it if you would head over to Apple Podcasts and leave a review. That's the number one way you can support this show. If you're wanting to dive a little bit deeper, you can also join our Patreon community to get our family discussion guides, join our private discussion groups, and have access to bonus content and additional resources every month. Hey, I'm praying for you today. Know that you are so loved. Y'all, we all got weaknesses. It's okay. Just acknowledge what those weaknesses are and be willing to confront them. Even when restoration doesn't work, forgiveness always does. Chris, how did you overcome the whole passive husband thing? I led him through it. (laughs) (laughs) There is work for us to do. It is not just sit back and cross my arms and just kind of wait for God to drop the miracle. Hey, y'all, it's Dana Shea. For real faith-based marriage advice, be sure to tune into Real Relationship Talk on lifeaudio.com or wherever you get your podcasts.